Hello, AP English language and composition students. So I was explaining uh, some of the ideas um, that are occurring in the different paragraphs in testing speech codes. Um, so I'm going to continue, but I will try to review again and help you to identify some of the techniques too, not just the ideas, right? So we're still getting like some of the ideas right now and finishing up um, the passage. So I was already talking about this before that I was already saying that he's giving an example here that Jewish people would find this comparison of this Jewish leader to this uh, dictator the most offensive because he persecuted Jews and killed so many, six million. And others wouldn't, Arabs wouldn't um, be as offended if one of their leaders was compared to Hitler, uh, one of their extreme leaders was being compared to Hitler, not as much as if a Jew were. So what is offensive? He's just saying it, de it depends on the, the viewer. Uh, right, that's what he's saying here. It's too flexible. So moving on. Um, now, I want to back up just a little on the second page. So, right here, we have uh, one of the supports, one of the main reasons supporting his claim that uh, universities should not censor speech. And here is one of his reasons. It's his first main reason. All right? And then he has a few more, but they're not as clear um, as that one and not as strong as that one. Um, so, you know, you could say that they're all throughout here. There's one about here, and then finally in the final paragraph, two. Okay. But um, he is saying right here, just as I said earlier, there was idea of a slippery slope. He's saying here there's a legitimate slippery slope. If we are more prone to censoring speech that if we're more sensitive to African Americans and speech that would offend them, and we prohibit that, well, we're going to have to start prohibiting it all the way along the line. We'll have nothing left, all right? Um, so we can't do that. It will have a domino effect, right? Now, our final paragraph. Actually, so that's another reason, right? Domino effect, right? So, final paragraph. And I really think it's, it comes down to the last statement. This is his proposal, right? This is his thesis, his main, his main claim. We never knew that until right now, okay? So what is this format? You should know, <laughs> the main idea comes last. Now, is there anything else that I could help you with? Yes, I think so. So since I'm on the second page, I'm going to talk about this paragraph a little bit. So, offensiveness, a speech that is offensive, um, just because it's offensive, it should not be censored, is his idea. Why? And he supports it with this, right? But what is this? This statement right here is an underlying reason why censorship is not good. It's, it's an underlying reason, but he states it. So you might call that a warrant. It's, um, it's what we could all, a value we could all agree to, um, that offensiveness varies by who is being offended, the type of person who's being offended. So we might call that a warrant. Um, it's, it's not as strong as what some warrants, but it, it could be called one. And then, um, if I go back to the beginning. Um, 
you might call this a qualifier. Um, he's qualifying um, the treatment of, you know, qualifying what is the proper attitude towards um, restricting um, people's behaviors, right? So we can have our, we can be, a, we can be against something personally, but it shouldn't uh, determine the policy of a university. So it is a type of a qualifier, right, that way. So I think that, and maybe one more thing, Right, oops, excuse me, right here, um, this is really our topic, right? Just a few words. It's not his thesis about it, but what is he talking about, writing about? Selective censorship, <laughs> or university's role in censorship. So this is the topic, but um, should it be selective? No, right? So this second video isn't as helpful. It's just a few more little points but hopefully it helps you understand the whole passage better, and then you can do a better job of finding the techniques that are some of the Toolman techniques, the appeals, and so on. Let me see if there's anything else here, because I know I have time left over. No, I think that's about it. So thank you.